hard about what we do is you need to sign players that have the ability to play in the league. And scouting is a totally inexact science. You can take a guy with height, weight, speed off the charts who looks like an Adonis who put together tremendous numbers in college against top level D1 competition and for whatever reason he doesn't have the heart, he doesn't have the desire, he's just off, he goes to the NFL and he just he doesn't make it. And then you have guys that come out of nowhere, that come from smaller D2 programs. You take a guy like Pierre Garçon, who comes from a D3 school, Mountain Union, comes in, makes a niche for himself with the Indianapolis Colts and then lands that huge free agent deal in 2012 with the Redskins. I mean, it's an inexact science. So if you want to prepare for this industry, one way to give yourself an advantage, to be an asset, whether it's an asset for yourself when you build and start your own agency or it's an asset to another agent who wants to hire you, is to really refine your scouting eye. Mm -hmm. Just watching game film, watching tape, you know, studying online. Google is such a friend nowadays. You can find information, advice, answers on any topic imaginable nowadays. But just go out there and really start to refine your scouting eye. Every game you watch as a fan now, watch it more in depth and scout position by position each game. You know, one game, for instance, look at offensive linemen, look at the top O linemen, see how they pass protect, see how they punch, how they shuffle their feet how they bend their knees. In another game, look at defensive backs, look at corners, look at them flip their hips when they run, look at their coverage skills, look at corners and see which corners have instincts, which corners have ball skills. I have a good friend of mine, Jerry Angelo, former GM of the Chicago Bears. Class act, great, great man. Jerry told me once that the difference between safeties and corners in the NFL is instincts. Instincts and ball skills. As a corner, you have to have instincts. Sometimes, you know, those are one of those, instincts are, instincts are something you really can't teach. You either have it or you don't. And that's the difference, he told me once, between corners and safeties, instincts and ball skills. And the fascinating part about football, it's always a game within a game. And if you're training or you're getting yourself ready to be a sports agent someday, a great way to really develop those skills is to watch those games within the game itself. You know, the hand-to-hand -hand combat between an uh, edge rusher, defensive end, coming off the edge with an offensive tackle, cornerback, wide receiver, cornerback in press coverage, seeing the receiver get off the press. These, these games are phenomenal. Yeah. You know, you see an offensive guard pulling, getting to the second level, seeing how the linebacker takes him on and sheds, you know, keeping outside leverage on a sweep. It's, it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal sport. Mm -hmm.